I didn't notice you guys there, you know, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, um, you know, for me, I, this is, uh, right now, I'm in the savannah here, I always come in the savannah and just chill out with a microphone in my hand and, and a cutlass and, and some boots with socks in there, you know, have to do that, you know, and, and I'm with a hat. I, it's refreshing, you should try it sometimes, you know, don't knock it before you've tried it. And it's really nice, so, so what you guys doing here? All right, that's right, my awesome show. Just in time, right, right, right. Oh, that was today? I thought, oh, okay, right, right, okay, well, right, well, well, today, yes, um, where, where, where should we go today, today? Hmm. Ah, I have just the place. Let's head up to Paramin. Let me go up to Paramin. Where all the real nice seasoning does be. Let's go up to Paramin. This show is about Paramin. Where they have Parang. And the hills very hilly. <laughs> uh, you don't expect hills to be anything different. But yes, let's head up to Paramin today. And uh, you know, for those of you who don't know what that is, well, here's what we're right now at the Queen's Park Savannah, and the route that we're going to be taking, we're going to be heading through Marval, and then you're going to meet the junction. But that's, that's where the the NP and the KFC is. That big junction, you can't miss it. And then you head up into Paramin. It's some very steep hills, and uh, you have to, you know. You have to really take your time going up there, so it's a, it's going to be an exciting time today. People know Paramin for its Parang, thanks to the song Paramin. Let's go up the Paramin. Uh, it's also known for their seasoning as well. So let's go out there and check and see if we can find a, a seasoning farmer and see what life is like there on a Saturday morning. Yes, let's see uh, what the people, the good people of Paramin are doing this morning. And uh, let's meet some interesting people, see some interesting sights. What we also know of Paramin, if it is so high, you expect the views to be spectacular and nothing else. So let's head up there and see what it's all about. This week, it's all about Paramin. I think I'm very well armed. You know, I think I'm rather decked off it. You think so, cameraman? Yeah? I find so too. Let's do this. Well, we've made our way to the junction. Now, where are we at? We're at uh, the junction of the Marval Road, the Saddle Road, and the road that takes you up into Paramins. Like I tell you, uh, once you get there, you can't miss it. Big KFC sign, big, um, big, big NP gas station going on there. And right on that junction, as you're going just a, you know, just a, a few yards inside, um, you will meet the Pascal Road Recreation Ground. It's being refurbished right now, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a very nice ground. But here is where, if you're going to come up to Parang in Parman. Usually, they advise that you come here and you park up here and then take the uh, the, the shuttles, the jeeps, to head up to the actual venue of the Parang. So people will come driving here, park up, and use the entire uh, football field, park up, and then uh, it's uh, it's a very interesting ride going up on those things because those fellas who drive those jeeps, they know the road like the back of their hand, and they drive as such, and they take those corners, you know, with with gear abandon. Uh, it's quite an experience going up on, on those shuttles and uh, usually people just walk back down the hill. Well, that's what I did one time. Um, but here we are, we're at the base and we're going to be heading up now to, uh, to, to Paramin proper. And uh, let's hope that we could find some scythe for me to chop down. That's, that's why I'm walking with this. I'm going to chop down some scythe. That's, that's what I do. Let's go. We're up here at uh, Parman, right? Uh, we had Fatima Junction, and if you look a little bit further to my left there, you see the Parman RC School, right? Big, you know, regal building, uh, massive, almost looks out of place in uh, in in this particular environment and setting. Uh, but uh, we're gonna um, check out something here on the junction of Parman here. Um, that is um, a staple every Saturday morning. I have, come join me here. This lady is, is Auntie Jean. 
It's Auntie Jean, is it? Yes, Auntie Jean. And, and how often do you come out here? Sir? Every Saturday morning. And what's what's on the menu on the Saturday morning? Well, today I have bacon saltfish, bacon shark, sweet bread, red cherry and sugar cake. Now, how long have you been doing this, Auntie Jean? Oh, a good few years, yes. yes. And, and the sales are good here on a Saturday morning? It's very good on a Saturday morning. So people look forward to coming and eating from Auntie Jean's hand on every Saturday? Of course, every Saturday morning they wait for me and have no problem with that. Now, when, when parang time rolls around, when Christmas time rolls around, do you do your stuff for, for the parang for the people who come up here? Yes, yeah, so I sell for parang. I sell anyone up in the ground yes. and PCO and PDC parang I sell. Okay. Okay, so and, and you stay here till what time so so that people oh, eleven. Eleven are finished to go home. Okay, and you come out from what as early as seven o'clock? Seven, yes. Alright, well enjoy your Saturday morning, Auntie Jean. And I myself I'm gonna enjoy some of Auntie. I come quite up parmen. And enjoy Auntie Jean. So Auntie Jean, could you um, make me a, a, a bacon saltfish? Yes. Well, we've uh, reached to the top here at uh, well, we're at Parman, and um, I'm here with uh, one of the, um, the 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 side farmers, the seasoning farmers that we have up here, uh, Christy Mendez, but he's better known as Cricks. Uh, why, why, where are you gonna where are you gonna name from? Cricks. Schoolies from schoolies. Is it because you like Cricks? No, I know you used to use biscuit in school a long time, yeah. and well, we were so many people used to really deal with biscuit in school. Now. So one of my friends, instead of calling me um, Mendez, he say. Biscuit and now the name stick, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so you so everybody now know you so since primary school days you stuck with cricks? Yeah, yeah. Well from the name biscuit it turned to cricks, you know what I mean? So you now nickname is stick now. And uh you, oh yeah, I know how it goes. Um you the the, the, the thing with this here, I see that you've made you made a haul this morning. Yeah. Yeah, that is the market for weekend. Okay. And this um this is just what what do you call this? Just regular side? Yeah, regular side. Yeah. Well we you know it as cobra. Cobra, yeah, this name of this type of side, Cobra. Yeah. All right, so what's the, what's the process like? What it is that you do? You can say you harvest it, you bring it here, and then what, how do you do? There's a cleaning. There's a cleaning process here. Yeah? Right. And then from this, you do the tying. You know, you put the season and then you tie in. There's the other process. How long have you been in this business? Well, from the age about 15, 16, 19 in this, yeah. So from since that time, so you have you have like a scythe empire then? Well, yeah, that's all the time. You know, I do my scythe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do my scythe. And, and it's enough to pay the bills and, and yeah, keep you healthy and strong? Exactly, all. yes, yes. Do, do you like it though? I love my garden. What do, what do you love about it? Well, the, the freeness of your garden, you know what I mean? You, you, in your garden, you meditate, you, you have peace in your garden, you know? Yeah. And uh, so you grow scythe and what else? Well, sometimes during the year, I grow different things like sweet pepper and then tomatoes, you know. I've always wondered, I've, I've passed up here a couple of times and I've seen people on the side of the hills and I'm wondering, how do you all manage to stay there without, without falling down the place? You, you all work with harness and that kind of thing? No, we are accustomed to that. When you grow, when you grow in it, you, you, you grow accustomed to it. If, if OSHA pass here, they might, they might, they might, you know, cite you all for, for poor working conditions, you know. Why, why is it? <laughs> you go to go fall off the hill? No, 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 no. People are accustomed to that. Men and women grow in this, so you know. And then up here is, all, is all, also a hilly area, so you address yourself to it, you know. Now, uh, when when Christmas time comes around and that kind of thing, right? Um, do, you all, do you all have your own particular thing that you go like, um, instead of singing Sai, 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 do you all sing Sai, Sai, Sai? Sai, Sai, Is that the parang, you know what I mean? Is that also have this, it all through the arm. Um, like Ronald Man, these fellas make song on Sive and all kind of things, you know, so. You should tell people when they come up here, instead of saying season greetings, say seasoning greetings. Seasoning greetings, yeah, <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> Alright, so let me see, let me see how, we, how we're doing this now. Yeah, this is the broadleaf time. This one here is the fine time. Fine time. Fine time. Yeah. This is one that they probably put on the side. Right, this is the one that they put on the side. Now, when we were growing up, there was there was a time that used to grow on a tree. There's, the one that is growing, it's look, it's look like the fine time, but it's to grow on a big tree. 
Spanish time they call that. Spanish time. Spanish time. This is one almost almost like it. Spanish time, but this one this one is a mint. They like fr they like French time then. Yeah. Well yeah, people call this one French time. A lot of people don't call this French time, but this is really broad leaf time. Yeah. Fine time. Yeah, and this one is peppermint, but you also use this in seasoning. Right? But it's almost like it's Spanish time. Ah, uh, you missed it one time though. You missed it one time. Just in time. <laughs> now this year, now this is not necessarily behind God's back, but this is behind Crick's house. And uh Crick's he has, his, he has, he has your, you have your farm elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have another garden in Upper Parman. I also have a garden at Monespa. But this year is behind this house, and I've been told that that there is what you call Big Blue. Yeah. Right? That's Big Blue, and you can see it looks, it has a nice little hue there. And uh, up on that side, well, that's Cobra Sign. Cobra Sign, and then of course, he has his broadleaf time and fine time and, and, and Spanish time and peppermint and just in time. I mean, it's laden with seasoning behind here. And um, you know, and this is so. This is just your personal. This is just for your personal thing. What you actually sell this to? Mostly for okay. So this is a little, this is a little nursery. Yeah, well, you could call it so a nursery for when you rainy season start back. That to use the scythe to plant over your garden fresh. Well, I'm here with one of the natives of Parman. This, uh, her name is Andrea from Parman. That's that's her name. Yes. No, it is not. Oh! Your middle name is not from and last name is Parman. Andre Andrea from. Par that's why I saved your number on the phone. No, it's Andrea Gonzalez, oh. London from Paramount. Oh, okay. Hold on, that London is from Paramount. All right. So, you see that? See, come on up here and get to London Bridge. Um, so, Andrea is from. Now, how long have you been living in Paramount? Or, or how long? Yeah, how long have you been in Paramount? I am 32, I believe. So, <laughs> um, all of my life, I've, I've born and bred up in Paramount. I'm a bred of okay. Paramount. Ah, so now what? What did you enjoy? Did you enjoy growing up in Paramount? Yes, I did. Now that I don't live in Parliament, it's you know it's you, you feel the difference when you come back to visit you know the beauty of Parliament, the the feeling it's different it's homely it's it's just a different feeling from town vibes you know it's uh, and, and in terms of like the safety and that kind of thing up on the side oh yeah um you can't get it any better i ain't telling nobody to come Parliament, to teeth in Parliament, but it's it's a known fact that you know Parman is just, we just laid back. We just, we can leave our homes open and say we're going down Maraval or we're going in the shop or, you know, and you come back and you meet your home open freely. Nothing missing, nothing out of place. Everybody's just loving and comfortable in Parman. Now, you, uh, you look, what, what would you, you like a, a red skin, it's called, it is called Spanish? Coco Payol. Coco Payol. Coco Payol. And, and people up here, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a mix of races, or would you say it's mostly Coco Payol? It's a mix. You mo I mean, you would mostly find Spanish, but it's now it's a mix. There's there's no no dominant, dominant race. race here. Yeah, it's it's just a mixture of everybody, and it's just a loving vibes up here. All right, so uh, that's Andrea from Parham. It's been here all the time, and uh, she's actually going to take us to our next uh, destination. We're going to check out one of the places where they have the Paran. All right, and we're here at the site of where there is um, usually one of the parang limes for the year. And uh, you know, you, you, know this, you know this song, right? Come on, let's go. Let, let's sing it together. Ready? Three, four. We go in paramen this Christmas. Paramen this Christmas. Yeah, we go into paramen. Everybody paramen. And like. <laughs> And those are the actual lyrics, eh? That's real. Now, how, how do you feel? I mean, uh, not many, not many villages or, or places around Trinidad and Tobago has the um, the, the honor of having a song 
you know, with with their with their with their name in it. How do you all feel about having that song from Singing Sandra? You know, the Singing Sandra. Singing Sandra yeah. Yes, definitely Singing Sandra. Um, it's a pleasure. We do feel honored to know that you know everybody is getting to know Paramin, not only just for Blue Devil and you know for Carnival and stuff, but for Parang, which is very grand. It's getting bigger and bigger every year. Um, and as you know, Baron also sang. I want a Paramin woman. Yeah, so you know, Paramin is, is becoming well known for the Parang. Now, this year is one of the sites for the Parang, yes? And people come out, the, the people from the village, they, the ones come out and, uh, and, and sell their stuff? Yes, you get everybody, there are different people would come out with different foods, you'll get all type of wild meat. You'll get well, what, kind, what kind of wild meat? Oh my gosh, yeah. maniku, yeah. guti, you name it. Was it, was it, was it, was it, was it, what? Hold up, what? Monkey, there's monkey up in Parliament. No. <laughs> what's your What's your favorite wild meat? None. None. <laughs> yeah, it's foul. Yeah, that's the only wild meat I really yeah. Antique. Yeah, yeah. Some I find the, the, the bone in the yard fall is it be so hard, it's like concrete to bite. Yeah, that's that's the point, is the yard fall, it's hard, yeah. So yeah, nice nice meat, nice meat. How do the people up here in Parliament feel about you know hosting um you know parang, you know, like putting on this show for, for the people of Trinidad to be able to come and you know experience? Well, it's as we know parang is is something that is done worldwide. But I, I believe it's because of the comfort and the scenery and the, the beauty of Parliament that makes everybody want to come out. When you come out up here, I mean, every year, as known Parang in Parliament, it always have rain. But it doesn't stop the visitors from coming. You would come and you'd see people dirty in the, in the Parang. Parang going on and everybody dancing and having a ball, you know. It's, it's just a different feeling and a different vibe when you come to Parliament, Parang. <laughs> Um, the Paramin Arts School, the new addition to um, Paramin, it's right here, and um, I, I understand that the, the residents here and the children are very excited about moving into their new building. Yes, they are. It's been a while that, um, well, since I knew myself, it was a you know a small school. We grew up, everybody playing in the yard and. You know, so now that we have this grand masterpiece in Parliament, everybody is excited. The children are very excited for, I guess, their opening in September, for everybody to move in and have a grand time. Where, where, where are they located right now? They are located up by a grocery. They are facilitated in a, in a, in a grocery. Ah, they're in a grocery right now. So I'm pretty sure that um, when they do make the move up, it's going to be like um, like the Jeffersons moving on up. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. Yes. yes, it is. All right, so can you look at that Parliament RC School? Well, we've managed to make our way to the tippy top top of uh, the Parliament Hill. You have to go to that, to the, to the by Parliament Junction, then from there you have to take an elevator to go up, and then from there you get a helicopter and it takes you further up. Well, maybe not that much, but the drive is a little bit treacherous to come. So, if you're faint of heart, make sure you either have a very good driver or that you're sleeping all the way up. But um, we're here to the top now, and here is actually the starting point for a very challenging hike. Um, it's, a very challenge. It's, it's a good challenge. It takes you about an hour to head down on what we call Shodo Beach. So, yes, welcome to Shodo. S A U T D E A U, Shodo, Shodo Beach, Nature Trail and uh, Nature Park, 8,500 feet going down. Right, so you go down there, when you get down there, there's a beautiful beach and uh, just a little bit off from the from the shore, you can uh, see a nice uh, waterfall, it's very, you know, nice little waterfall, you can go on these and bees and whatnot. And uh, then to come back up, well, after you've gone down there, uh, to come back up, well, that's the, that's the tough part for people because when you after you've, you've bathed and you relax and chill out, then to come back up, you get back up here you know, to your car, you're sweaty, you're tired, and your legs burning. In fact, you know what? Just for kicks, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a run down to Shoulder Beach. Yeah, 8,500 feet. Small thing. That's I do that in my sleep. I'm gonna head down there, take a little run down, take a little dip, come back up. You know, and uh, so I'll see you guys in a bit.
yawn yawn small thing is the time 25 minutes to go and come back small thing did that roadrunners of Trinidad and Tobago no she did maybe tomorrow I wanna settle down until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on down. small thing I do that in my sleep I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna do something challenging now, like lift a truck or something. Well, I'm up here at the top of um, Parman, the Parman Hill, Parman Mountain, and the view here is absolutely spectacular. Fantastic stuff. Beautiful, you get in the sea, well, there's some little, you know, little island there. And um, it's just so very serene, very quiet. If you want to come up and collect your thoughts, this is the place to do it. You just want to come and relax and chill out. The place is very well kept, by the way. Somebody, and uh, you know, is doing a very good job of making sure that the place is very well manicured and uh, you have a wonderful vantage point to see the north coast um, you have to see the ocean on that side and the mountains to my right and then down to the back you get to see so much of uh, the beauty of Trinidad and Tobago well Trinidad at least from here um, it is uh, something to behold and I do encourage you at least once in a lifetime make the trek straight to the top of Parman. Parman has been so beautiful the people are extremely warm and it was so cool when you're driving up they don't know you and I'm in the van coming up the road and the people who are out, they're looking at me and waving, hey, how are you doing, you good? And I'm like, tit, tit, like, like, they know me so well. They are, <laughs> they are very warm people up here, very kind, very generous. And the place itself is just, um, I think it befits the people. Beautiful, beautiful people, beautiful place. Glad I came up to Parman and I do hope that you take some time to come and check it out as well. Beautiful place, Parman. And you know, if you're going up to uh, straight up to the top of Parman and uh, if you like you're getting a, um, a little bit thirsty or whatnot, you could always stop out at Farmer's Liquor Place. Um, it's a really nice place, breezy and uh, very, very quiet. I mean, let me tell you something. You could very well just reach here and when you start taking in a little beverage, and you'll, you know, soft drink and water and whatnot, the place is so quiet and takes you back to a time where nothing moved. Um, you, you might just fall asleep and wake up somewhere around 4 o'clock in the evening like oh sharks not to be going somewhere but beautiful place nice the view is fantastic and um, and um, beverages nice and cold I think I'm gonna have me one So as we close out this edition of Just In Time, I just want to give you a view of what it is you can get when you come up here. And um, make sure you tune in next time for Just In Time. Not fine time or Spanish time or broadleaf time, but Just In Time. All that Parmina stuff and more. Wise man says, if you know that you bought your license, then do not play man and try to drive up Paramin. You will be in for very rude awakening. <laughs> up here in Paramin, uh, it's always good to speak with those who have, you know, been, you know, this is the true height that we are and I'm not tiptoeing.
They are located up by a grocery. They are facilitated in a, in a grocery. 